Hi guys, um, I wanted to quickly make a video today. Um, I bought myself a little Heiko um, FX888D and um, the, I suppose there's been loads of unboxing videos of this specific um, soldering station but I thought I'd, um, I wanted to specifically make one for the South African market. Now I will go through the whole unboxing experience if you guys want to want to stick around for that. But I thought this one was specifically for the South African market. Um, the price, the prices I went through to get this one, um, etc. So I'll take you through all of that, where I bought this one, um, the compar comparison of other places where you can buy this in South Africa. And um, let's just have a look at the, the soldering station in general um, and go through the process. Yeah, so let's get going. So here we have a look at the FX888D. 88 um, from Heiko. Now, I this specific model I think is the the, bl the blue and yellow version. But if we take a look at um, Heiko's homepage, you'll see that there's a notice counterfeit products. Now, the the reason I specifically wanted to make this video was because in South Africa, the so from Heiko, if you go to their official suppliers um, worldwide in South Africa. The, the only supplier they have in South Africa is VPEC Electronics. Now I've contacted these guys and um, they mentioned that the default price for one of these um, soldering stations in South Africa in a, in a one-off quantity is about 3,500 Rand if I, um, if I remember correctly. That was a couple of months ago. Um, if you wanted to buy it directly for, for a consumer type um, package if there's a site in South Africa want it all, um, it ranges from, from about 3,600 um, Rand all the way through to 4,800 Rand. So that's, you know, that's about um, three, 400 um, US dollars for this thing. Now in, in the US, you can obviously pick these up for under a hundred dollars. So, you know, it was a bit harsh for me. I'm not quite sure what that entails. The other interesting thing is I actually, tried to buy this um, soldering station from one at all at one stage and um, only after you've paid and gone through the whole checkout process and they've debited your credit card etc do you get a phone call from these guys and say oh by the way um, this unit is shipped from the US and therefore runs on 110 volts um, but yeah you could buy this cool um, additional product from them um, the inverter to to up or to downscale the voltage in South Africa, the default 220 down to 110 volt. Nowhere else, else on this product page have I been able to find a, any kind of information or warning or something that tells you this is a 110 volt product that you're buying. It's a South African site, so there's no reason for me to believe that this is not a standard site. So I thought that was a bit, bit um, you know, not, not quite above board. Anyway. So back to the Heiko homepage, um, there's this big um, notice here, attention counterfeit products. Um, now, yeah, they tell you that there's counterfeit products, but there's no way for me to really have a look and see whether the product that I bought is a genuine Heiko. Uh, the box, the packaging, everything looks similar. So cool guys, thanks for telling me that there's counterfeit products out there, but how would I know if I was an end consumer, how would I know that this is a counterfeit product? Anyway. A bit of a rant over. I eventually found um, this website, Micro Robotics. Now, Micro Robotics is a um, they're in South Africa. They're in the Janesburg region. They ship worldwide, if I if I understand correctly. Yeah, because you could swap currencies and that kind of thing. And these guys currently have this thing listed for 895 um, South African rands. Now, this is equivalent to the U.S. price. Um, so the first thing I did with these guys is I, I noticed that they marked it as a 220 volt um, AC and I actually went to the store and I confirmed with them that is this a 220 volt and they kind of assured me yes it is a 220 volt package. Um, so for that price I thought wow you know that's that's pretty cool. I'll put links to all of these into the um, YouTube comments below for those of you guys that might also be interested in getting one of these because this is by far I mean, by, you know, almost orders of magnitude less than, well, not quite, but, you know, a lot less than, than any equivalent place where you can get this thing in South Africa. So, um, you know, I've got the box. Let's open it up and see what it looks like inside. 
Right, so here's the box. All Heiko branded. I uh, obviously don't know what that says. I'll leave it in the show notes if you can read that. Um, but yeah, I mean, as I said, for all intents and purposes, no reason for me to believe that this is not a, a genuine Heiko product. Right, so let's open it up. Um, I've only just, as far as I've been in the box, was that far. And I noticed that we have we have an Australian plug. Now, that to me is quite good news because Australia runs on 220, um, which means there's a pretty good chance that this unit is actually a full 220 volt um, default product. Right, so let's see what's in the box. You've seen that I've taken out some packaging material. Um, there's our first bit of documentation. I'm going to have to do a Google search on that, maybe an image search, trying to figure out what that is. Um, there's our soldering iron, or soldering tip. Um, let's take it out of the box. Right, and that is, that's the default tip you get with that product. Um, right, so that, I mean, that's, that's pretty cool. There's your plug. We'll take it, take it apart nicely. Let's get this out of the box. Into the box. Right, so here we have our stand, the um, our solving on stand. Let's get that out of the box. Oh, a little dusty. Um, right, and there's our sponge, the holder, um, and here's our our Goldilocks. Not sure what the technical term is for this, but um, effectively some um, wire scrub just to clean off the tip when you get it full of um, solder at the end of the day. Uh, yeah, we'll have to figure out how that actually gets in there at some stage. Um, right, and here's our actual Heiko unit. And yeah, that looks that looks pretty good. Um, let's see. Yeah, all the 220 volts, 70 watt, made in Malaysia. This version, there's a serial number for those of you interested in that. So yeah, I mean, there's no reason for me to believe that this is not a genuine Heiko product. And at that price, guys, if you're in South Africa, Go, 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 because I'm assuming that stock's not going to last much longer. Um, Micro Robotics is actually quite cool. I've bought a, a couple of things from them. Um, and they I've never had problems with them. So, yeah. So, yeah, the only thing that's left to do in South Africa is to replace the plug. The, the other option is, of course, just to get yourself a little international converter. So that plugs straight into the South African main sockets. And... You slot that in there, nice and tight, and off you go. No even need, no no need even to to replace the plug. Um, so yeah, all that's left to do is power it up. So I have in the meantime gotten that guy just a little bit damp, and I think I figured out how to get that in in there. Um, this is a seems to be some kind of molded molded um metal nice and sturdy um and yeah effectively just squeeze that in there make sure the opening is nice and tightly tight in there yeah and i think i think the idea with this it shouldn't be in there it should be underneath there and yeah then just slot this guy back in into little grooves um, and yeah there we go perfect right so the idea now is you can sort of clean your tip clean your tip by you know sticking it in there a couple of times and then place it in the holder when you're not using it Right, so let's power this guy up 
for the very first time oh wait we have to take off the little bit more packaging material all i'm going to do now let's plug this guy in there right that slots in there perfectly right let's get this guy plugged in well let's let's swap things around a bit right so let's do that and you can plug in right and what are you going to do now turn it on right so let's do a quick test while we're busy doing this um and let's run a bit of a stopwatch okay so let's have a look so i'm going to wait until my clock is on um on the top of the hour and i'll turn it on adjust the um, temperature let's say to 300 320 and um we'll see how long it takes to to heat up to to the point where it can melt melt solder right so four three two one zero turn it on goes through 400 degrees and you can see it counting up counting up 120 130 100 no not yet 230 240 270 280 wow this thing eats up Ah, oh, oh. Ah, and our salt is melting. Yep, yeah, salt is melt melting. Wow, what was that? That was 30 seconds. 30 seconds, and we're up to temperature, ready to go. I'll obviously set this way down when I. Oh, first time turn on. Obviously, a bit of a mess. Let's clean that up a bit. Oh, ready with that. Yep, there we go. 400 degrees holding stable even dabbing it wow this thing is worth every cent especially at that price guys as i said i think um if you want one of these make sure you go to microbiotics very very quickly um and yeah i mean if this is a is a um counterfeit product wow they went through a lot of hassle to um to come up with a product that works just as well, I think. Anyway, that's it. If you guys liked the video, if you thought that was a useful little tip, quick, easy, no hassles. I'll use this product for, for a bit because I actually have a big product project that's kicking off now, which is one of the reasons I bought this item. Um, I'll keep you guys posted if, if anything goes wrong or if, any, if I have anything annoying with it. I might get myself a, a different tip, but I think this, this tip would probably work fine um and i'll keep you guys posted if anything goes wrong but for right now damn i'm impressed this is quite cool if you like the video give it a thumbs up if that's the right way around anyway <laughs> tell your friends tell your buddies um subscribe and leave comments if you guys have any any feedback any comments something you want to know something you want to tell um tell me please um always welcome see you next time